Hi everyone. So today we're going to look at what they call a balcony card and it has a couple of little steps. It folds flat to go into a 6x6 envelope and when you open it it stands up there. Here is another one that I've done and this has got some decoupage of a country village. Um, it's meant to look good when it's closed as well as when it's open. So when we open it up then we've got various layers on our village. Then we did one here which is um, on cocktails. So we've got a few decoupage bits there. When we open it up it's a bit like a bar um, with the cocktails on it. Okay. And lastly I did one that has um, wine bottles and things. So it's purely um, decoupage that has been cut apart. So a bit of this has gone on the background. Um, on the front I've put a couple of extra glasses. So you can chop and change your decoupage to make smaller um, um, details on your card. So let's put that to one side and we'll bring them back in at the end. Now I've made um, a very easy way of working out how to do your card. We have to start with a 15 by 15 centimetre piece of card. This is going to be your base card that forms this bit here. Okay, so um, you'll be able to stop the video and do yourself a chart to follow. Um, there's three different charts but it'll make life a lot easier for you. So here we have the 15 by 15. Then we want 4 by 18 which goes on to there. And we've got a 13 by 6 onto there. So you can say it, see it's very economical how you work your pieces. Right, so if we take that away now, we've got a bit of scoring to do. So this piece, 15 by 15, we need to score at 7.5 centimetres. Here's my scoreboard and we go straight on and seven and a half centimetres. Put that to one side. If we have a look at this thin long piece, we want one and a half, nine, turn it round and one and a half. So here we go. One and a half, nine, turn it round and one and a half that end. So that's complete. Now we look at this long piece here which is the short fat bit and it's one and a half, six and a half, turn it and one and a half. So we go one and a half, six and a half, turn it and one and a half. That's all the scoring we need to do. Okay, so let's just check. We've got that one, that one, and this one. Right, so we're going to put that one out. And this is our last one. Okay, so this lets us know what panels to cut. You're going to put um, a mat around each panel so there'll be a tiny bit to go round. So first of all we need three panels 14 by six and a half. Now this one I have done out of a got four there. This one I've done out of a picture. Let's put one of those back. And if I assemble my picture
I see that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There are my three pieces. Now I'd like to keep them in that way um, when I assemble them. So fold your card and this first panel is going to go on there in a minute and these two panels will go inside. So I'm going to put this one for the front away for the moment and we'll concentrate on these. Now I've also cut some mats that are 14 and a half by seven <clears throat> and I've done those in a metallic silver. So I'm going to take these and mount those Right, now these two particular ones on the inside I can actually put on the card as I do them. So. So this is my right hand panel. We'll have a look at some of the other sorts of card that I've used at the end. So just keeping away from the crease, you should have a little piece of your backing card um, that you can view all the way round. Decided I'd make this a nautical one. And I can put this one in the centre of the card. We can't put the one on the front on yet. So we've got another piece to stick on first. There we go. Right, so that goes onto there and you can see our picture flows from one side to the other. Right, I can assemble the one on the front ready, but not stick it on. There's the one for the front of the card. Okay, so that one is, you can see the flow of the um, C there. Put that to one side. Right, now we're going to take this one and this bit is going to be the piece that goes along the front here. So first of all, we want to put double-sided tape on the back of these one and a half centimetre pieces. Right. Now what I like to do now is to line up with the bottom of my card and pop couple of my trusty clips <clears throat> on there like that. Okay that's going to hold it in place. You can see that the score line here is exact with the score line centre. So we can now turn it over 
remove the side bit and fold over. And fold it over. So let's take that off and pop it there and you can see how your card is starting to come together. Okay, pop that down there for the moment. Now we've got this taller piece which is going to go inside. So that's going to form your higher thing but it's still level with the bottom of the card. So we're going to take that one and this time we're going to put our tape on the front side of our car oh, portion here. So there we go, one, two, and we only want to remove one section. Just give those a little tweak both ways. Now fold it in half so that this is the glue side uppermost and what we want to do now is to slide that in here and decide how far out we want our step to come and it's not until you've decided there I'm going to go for that sort of step that you press down and one side is fixed. Then you can tip your fingers to the middle, fold it in half the other way and press down and your inner piece is now positioned accurately in the middle. It's level with this bottom half but standing up in the middle. Now we can start decorating. So we can flatten that down and the two pieces for this broad piece were four by five. So I have cut myself two pieces of the um, bushy bits that were on the bottom of the picture. So four by five and four and a half by five and a half. So one of the good things about having this is that you can stack your pieces on there as you do them. So let's take that one. You can use any glue or tape that you want. Wet glue will give you a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to put one on there and we take the next one. stack those on that bit. I've now for the part here I wanted to do a little seawall. So it's three by six and a half and I've got two mats which are three and a half by seven and a half. So we can now This is my extra panel up there ready. Let's 
really helpful to stack your your pieces in the right place. And then assemble it all at the end. It's getting near the end of the tape, so it can be a bit temperamental. Uh, So those are my two side pieces. Now the reason that we've left this one here is because this flap goes onto the front and if you did that first of all it would be coming over the top of your picture. So I'm going to take this one here which has already got the sticky on, place it down there And fix that one in place. You can easily get your fingers up through. Take the second one. Clip that one down through. Always make sure you keep away from the crease in the middle. There we go, that's coming along nicely. Now we're going to take the wall rubbish there. And take the wall, place the wall on there. So you can use up whatever pieces you've got to make it look attractive. And I'll show you the others again. You'll see that I've used backing papers and all sorts. So watch that your pictures are going level. There we go. Right, so when we close that down now, we've got this wall that is part of the front design. So I'm now going to take this one and I'm going to finish off the front panel. So you see we'll be covering this bit here right so there is a card all ready for decorating so we can place that out the way now. Now what I've taken is this nautical um, decoupage and it's a ready die cut. So let's see what we want. I think we're going to use this one on the front of the card. Now I'm going to use wet glue because it's easier to get to all the little um, edges and things. Right. Just trying to get a tiny bit on that seagull sticking out. And so we're going to bring that on to our front. I've got plenty of room for a greeting up there. And I'd like something small just to go on this bit. 
what you've got to remember is that this bit also forms part of the inner design. So I would like I think to take this lighthouse here, make sure that everything's poked out, and I would like to put that on here. Never be afraid of actually cutting into your decoupage. So there's that bit. I think I'd like the seagull here, but I don't particularly want this on this compass on there in the position that it's in. So I'm going to trim that. Let's a tiny bit pop out there, that's better. So this is sticking up so I don't want to go right to the top with the glue. So I'll just pop that up there. Now what I want to do now is to look at the front of the card to make sure that that looks, looks attractive. So I'm going to take this compass and I'm taking the rope off and that piece should pop out from there. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue because I would like to put that on there and I'm going to just turn it at an angle. Right, so I'm happy with the front of my card. Open it out and then I can carry on decorating inside. Right, so let's have a look what we've got. Um, I've got a ship's wheel, I've got an anchor. Anchor off. Okay. We've got the ship's bell, which I'm going to put, I think, up in that top corner. Consider whether you want to decorate the background as well. There's a nice little touch there. I really want something now that will go on here. So I think I will. The boat isn't on its own, so Let's see what I can do with that. Pop all the bits out so I can see. Right, I've got a red lighthouse here, so. I think I'm going to go with a blue lighthouse that is on the back. So the, the boat is now on the sea. I'm still being careful that it's not interfering. So I think we'd better have a straight lighthouse. And now I just want to add a couple of little bits. And so I think I'm going to have the anchor there, take the little bits out. And again, I'm going to separate this bit here. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue on there. I just want to put the anchor off it, sticking up there, and 
check the compass. Have the compass sticking up there. So there is my nautical bit. I've got another anchor there, but I think that's probably too much. Okay, let that go off for a couple of minutes. And there is my nautical card, which we will put there. Right, we'll go back through the samples. Now, this backing here was from a background picture that I had. So I've cut out one, two, and the yellowy one in the front. Okay, I've used this dark background here for this bit, and then a middly bit to go in the centre. Okay, put that one lie them down. Right, this one was just some backing card. So that is just one colour and I've used that throughout. This, these decoupage bits were very brightly coloured so I wanted to keep it fairly muted on the background. Okay, so we'll put that one there. This one I wanted to pick up the water colour and the sky. So on this one I just used a plain blue and I've surrounded it by a bit of black which is unusual. So we've got this, I've got plenty of room to put a greeting on when I decide what I need the card for. Okay, so there is another one and this was the first one that I tried. Um, I've got plenty of room to put a verse on this one and I did a couple of die cuts of a fence with some birds on it. Underneath it is purely this pink um, colour to make it look as though there's, a fla there's flowers in the border and then I've highlighted some die cut um, wildflowers. Okay, just an ordinary backing paper on the back that will tone in with the one I've got on the front. So you can mix and match everything, but the key to doing it really is prep preparation. So know your measurements, right? Know your score lines, and then finally prepare all of your panels before you start working on your card. And you can count, place them as you cut them into your um, diagram and then make them up and you'll know exactly which ones to pick up at the right time. So have fun and I hope you have a go. Show me what you managed to achieve and enjoy. God bless.